Hey guys, it's Tiff and welcome to day four of our 14 days of Christmas share over on SNLdesign.net. I am going to show you a project today that I'm really excited about and I'm actually planning on giving it as gifts um, this holiday season. So, I saw this idea on another channel and I believe it's Craft, it's either Craft Warehouse or Craft Memories, I can't remember the exact name, but Teresa Collins, I do know, was a guest on the channel and she showed her um, an idea her creative director came up with, which was to put washi tape on candles. What's cool about this is it's changeable, so if you do like a Christmas theme, you could change it out. Say like if you use these two washies. I'm not going to be using that these for this video, but if I did, after Christmas or certainly by, you know, um... February, I would want to change that out to something that more suits my home instead of the holiday. Um, so it's cool in that way. And then it's also nice because we all have washi. Let's be realistic. We have tons and tons and tons of washi just kind of taking up space in our craft room. So it's kind of nice. And I'm going to be honest with you. Like, um, this is one of the washies I will be using today. And look how much tape is on there. There's a ton. I'm never going to use that much in scrapbooking. I'm just not. Um, I may would use it, you know, when wrapping presents or or something like that. Um, if I wanted to add like a little fun touch to it. But I'm never going to use that much. Especially of a generic pattern like polka dots. Now, if it were specific, um, a little more specific, I might, or I might not would. But anyways... You kind of have to choose. I'm going to be using these two and um, possibly a gold as well. I haven't um, picked my third one if there will be one. So I have an assortment of candles that I just picked up, you know, at reasonable prices around town. This one's from Ross and it came with this Christmas bow on it, but I'm not going to be using that for this project. Um, now I may use it on another project, so I don't want to tear it up. But I'm not going to use it for this project because I'm going to go for a metals theme. So anyways, I have these two candles that were from Ross. And these ones that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. These are all the same size, which is why I went to Ross to pick up some different sizes. Because I didn't want them to all be the same size. And then I picked up these at Michael's. And they're just um, dried pine cones that are sprayed a lot easier than doing it myself and the regular pine cones cost about the same so to me it was worth um, the extra little investment I also use my 50 off coupon on these at Michael's um, and they're just little foam balls that are called Christmas fillers and I'll not be using the red but you could and then they could easily remove the red after Christmas but I want it to look complete no matter what. Um, this is the only thing that's somewhat questionable. I don't know if I'll use these because to me, Christmas ornaments obviously bring the idea of Christmas. So, you'd be less likely to be able to get away with this look throughout the year if, you, if I decide to use the ornament. But I just haven't decided yet if I'm going to include those. Um, when I purchased those, I had not found these. So, or the pine cones. I got those at the dollar store. And they're glass. So I thought five for a dollar for glass ornaments is nice. And worst case scenario, I'll put them on my Christmas tree here at home. And then I have a gold plate from the Dollar Tree that is plastic. So now I need to decide what candles I want to use. Um, and a couple of, um, get a couple more supplies together. So I think I'm going to leave you guys for a little bit. And then I'll come back in a little while once I've decided what candles I want to use. And we'll start covering them. See you in a bit. Bye.